Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my perfect genetics challenge in The Sims 3. So today you guys, ah, okay, we are actually starting off on some birthdays. So our youngest quadruplets are going to be aging up into children, including little Shiloh, who is one of our potential heirs for the next generation. Of course, we have Lincoln, who is over here currently. I've just had to kind of reset a couple of The Sims because they got stuck on this little sort of platform situation here. I didn't build this house, so I don't even know like I wouldn't even know how to fix that so I'm just leaving it for now I just had to teleport them out of that room so that's totally fine like I don't mind doing that if I need to <laughs> but anyway oh my gosh wait what the heck just happened where did the baby go no not you where did the other one go you were holding Stella oh my gosh okay well you know what Stella has just actually well since she's down on the floor here we may as well go ahead and trigger her age transition right now so we'll just go ahead and age her up first and there's the little notification <laughs> all of the four quadruplexes hey that was only three of them what about the fourth one okay very confused <laughs> yay Stella I'd get my little thingies out but I just feel like they're a little bit too loud <laughs> on the microphone even when I push it away so Stella is disciplined, perceptive, and clumsy. <laughs> Aw, you know what? Same. Absolutely same. Now, Stefan, oh goodies, you're actually on the floor already too. Fantastic. My love, are you stuck? Let me just move objects. I'm just going to move him and see if that resets him. And then move objects off and back into live mode did that do anything nope he's just become unroutable that's great how about if we actually reset him reset sim cortez pepper hopefully that does the trick and now come over here and pick up shiloh and then you my little darling what's your name salem go ahead and wait no don't play with salem what i want you to pick him up what do you mean why is there no pickup option are you choking my chain right now? Okay, could you please put the baby down? Oh yeah, that's right. We were going to trigger Stefan's age transition as well. So let me just quickly do that before I forget. And then why, like, why can you not pick the child up? I'm so confused. Can I reset Salem? Salem Peppa. Okay. Oh no. What? Oh, crud. Okay, that's fine. We'll just, wait, what? Why can't I click on him? There we go. Oh my goodness gracious me. I was about to freak. So there we go. All the kids are now on the floor. You, please do not pick the kids up. No, 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 no. Just like go over here just for a hot little second. Ah, is Stefan aging up? Is our little blondie aging up? Let's go, Stefan. Let's go. Let's go, Stefan. Let's go. Sweet. So Stefan is disciplined, loves the heat, and is a cat person. That's so perfect because we literally just adopted a cat. Are you kidding me? I love that. Alrighty, so now little Salem is going to age up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hate, loathe, despise. <laughs> That's how Ella feels about Smugsworth Prep School. Ella is beginning Sorry, Ella is begging you to let her come home. Do you want to let her? I'm sorry, baby, but you're just gonna have to stay in school. You know, we're very busy with your younger siblings and, uh, Okie dokie, my little Salem is good, loves the outdoors, and is family oriented. That's so fantastic. Good job, my little bean. Good job indeed. Now, little Shiloh. I saved her for last because she is another one of the potentials to be the next heir. And then we also have to set some bed. Whoa, what, what just happened there? We have to set some beds up for like, what do you call it? Set bed ownership. So all of the S babies. So Salem, you can have that one. And then Stefan, you can have that one. Stella, you can have that one. And then once Shiloh ages up, she can go ahead and claim that last one. Let's go Shiloh. Let's go. Let's go. Age up right now. Oh, she's really so cute though. I do really like the toddlers in this game. I do. I do. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Okie dokie. So my little Shiloh hates the outdoors, is a heavy sleeper, and is never nude. Well, you know what? These, these traits are really not that bad. Not that bad at all. Not that bad. 
<laughs> Potpourri, my little darling. What are you doing? Oh my goodness, you're going to be fed a treat from all of the cats in a row. All of the cats, oh my goodness. All of the children in a row. That is so funny, my little darling. I mean, she's probably not going to want all of the treats, but anyway <laughs> that's that's there if she uh, if she wants that so can we actually like get the laundry done or something and you my sweet little love you want to take it easy at work you know what no that's not happening and you know i'm not going to worry about that particular wish because that's just nah i just could not be bothered with that what you can do though my little love since today is a day off work and everything you can come upstairs and paint a large painting and then go ahead and do one over there as well. Oh, yes, indeedy. That is what we like to see. And you, my darling. Oh, actually, I wanted you to go and uh, tinker on that. But if you're actually going to be doing the laundry, let's just leave that for now. That needs to be uh, picked up as well. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> I think I just interrupted him. Okay, pick that up. Could you please go ahead and do the laundry now, my honey? Ugh, my bad. Oh yeah, Shiloh, we were gonna get you to claim this last bed up here. So you can go ahead now and take that one. So now all of the beds in the house actually have owners, or rather there are kids assigned to them, I should say. You wanna learn the writing skill? You know what, absolutely, let's go. We're not gonna take a class, that's that's too much. That's asking too much of me. Did we ever get little tablets? Okay, so we did get some, but we're gonna have to get more. So let me just pop that one up there so I can go ahead and purchase four more. One, two, three, and four. And then who did I take that off? I took that off you. All right, sweet, so you need one. You need one, you need one, and you need one. Fishing skill, okay, sure. So what I like to do is actually set them up with tab cast straight away so they so that they are learning skills right off the bat. Writing skill, perfect. You also wanna learn the fishing skill? Sure, absolutely. We will do that for you, my little love. Fishing skill, and what about you? You wanna learn the writing skill? That's honestly so cute. Two of these quadruplets want to learn writing and then the other two want to learn fishing. That's just the sweetest thing. Okay, my little honey. Now let me actually just go ahead and check when birthdays are coming up next. You've obviously got seven days. You guys have four days. So hopefully we actually get some of the uh, teenagers coming home from school soon aging up into young adults so then we can age, uh, sorry, not age them up, so that we can move them out of the house rather. I think after we finished recording for the last episode, I I didn't do it on camera, did I? No, I'm no, I'm pretty certain that I yeah, I'm pretty certain that off camera I moved them out of the house because obviously we have less Sims in the household now. Oh my love, you actually need to go to the toilet, so let's have you go and take care of that. Yes, I could cheat their needs, but I mean, there's not too many Sims in the house right now, so I'll try if I can at least. Now you, my darling, actually. Go to the toilet downstairs, maybe. And then you are all good. I mean, everyone's actually doing pretty fantastic. That makes me super happy. Yay. So Louis just wanted to become best friends with Lorelai. So I let that happen. And now he wants to pillow fight. So we're going to do just that. I honestly forget sometimes that pillow fighting is a thing in The Sims 3. They made it a thing in The Sims 4 recently, and I don't think I've even ever tried it in The Sims 4, but it's so funny, honestly, watching them go. They just need space is all. But I mean, this house is pretty spacious, honestly. Are you guys gonna start, or like, you're just gonna walk around? <laughs> oh, look at our little Popuri. She's so sweet. Oh, honey bunny, how about you go play with this little toy? How about, how about indeed? Now, who will be on? Lewis. Lewis and Lorelai. Do, you, do they have to, like, actually physically go to a bed to, like, pick up the pillow? I mean, can't they just, like, pull it out from thin air, like, what they'd normally do? Or does it have to just be, like, in the vicinity of a bed? Is that the situation? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. What do you even mean? Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, and look at our little Popuri practicing her hunting. Oh, you're so cute, my sweet little baby. <laughs> Whoa, Cortez just got some cash. Oh my god, look at Cortez playing video games with these kids. Honestly, that is so wholesome. They're so sweet. I absolutely love them. Excuse me? Literally excuse the hell out of me. No, we're not going on a fucking date with you. Oh my god, Chase passed away. Oh, that's so sad. Excuse me, Heather? 
Are you literally kidding me? Mm <laughs> These... I'm gonna lose my shit. Why is it always once a sim gets married in The Sims 3 that people start constantly asking them out on dates? So Cortez actually wants to master his charisma skill and currently he needs five more relationships in order to actually get right up to the top. So we're gonna have him go out to the winter festival just by himself so that we can potentially uh, meet some more people out there. And also I can see that we have some mail. So would you mind ooh, paying the bills and then getting the mail once you're done with that painting that you're working on right now? And basically I'm just kind of like playing through until something happens like the kids getting home from boarding school so that we can move them out or some more birthdays happen or just something like that so that we're not just kind of watching the same old mundane everyday tasks over and over and over again. All right, so you can meet Presley. Let's go do a friendly introduction and Brian Riley, let's give you a friendly introduction. And who else is in here? Who are you? Geneva Gerba. Let's give you an introduction. Oops, some more people have shown up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where are you going? German Woodward. Absolutely. Friendly introduction. Oh, wait, we've already said hello to Presley. So come on, let's get to the next person then. Oh, who are you? Charlie Duran. I mean, I think you know Charlie. Oh, no, you don't know Charlie. Well, that's fine. Emmanuel Blanco. Let's definitely go ahead and give him a friendly introduction too. Maybe actually don't worry about that little girl because it might be a little bit weird. Just some old guy going up to some little kid in a, uh, in a, in a skating rink. Yeah, maybe we will just stick to the adults. You know, actually, I wonder if you, my little darling, could be our next baby maker for our little Lincoln. Blue eyes, blonde hair. Actually, the blonde hair is a bit interesting with your skin tone. Same as the blue eyes, but also could make for some very interesting genetics. And honestly, I'm all here for that. 23. All right, just two more people. So we've met this guy now, Emmanuel Blanco. So just one more person. Actually, maybe we could meet that little girl and then we can have her come over to the house and meet our children. And hopefully, you know, maybe potentially get her in with our little Lincoln. Dante Curry, we have not said hello to you. Let's go ahead and give you a friendly introduction. All right, this is it, you guys. We're about to reach level 10 of, oh wait, no, not really, because we're on level nine. But if we have the amount of relationships that we need, then we're one step closer. Oh, sweet, okay. All right, so now we actually just have to kind of cram that skill in particular, that's fine. So let's go ahead now and listen to the Charisma tab cast. Maybe, since we're here, are these gendered toilets or are they just toilets? They are gendered, oh my goodness. Okay, that's fine. Let's just come in here and are there any mirrors? What on earth, there are no mirrors? Oh, it's like magic, there's suddenly mirrors. <laughs> Uh, after that, I'm going to get him to come in here and practice his speech just a wee little bit. What kind of monster doesn't put mirrors in a public bathroom? Dang it. Closing time. That's fine. We'll just uh, continue listening to our podcast and look in the mirror at home then. Tobias is sick of the snobs at prep school. Can Tobias come home? Tobias, I'm sorry, but you just can't, my little love. They're breaking my heart. Oh my god, you guys, Tyler has graduated from elementary school at Smugsworth Prep School and is now a teenager. Yes, let's have him continue. Oh, that's so good. And Tobias as well. Yes, let's go. Oh, Corinne has aged up into a young adult. Okay. Oh, let's have her become a CEO of a mega corporation. Why not? Ah, oh, that's so good. So Corinne has completed her studies at Smugsworth Prep School. Thanks to her school's strong alumni network, she will have a head start in the business, political, medical, or journalism careers. Was Corinne... Oh, that's right, because her quadruplet uh, siblings all aged up before her for some reason, which was really, really weird. So we just have one child coming home, but that's absolutely fine. So once she is home, then we can uh, move her out with her siblings in the world. So I'm going to have, I'm going to set her up with the business career before we actually move her out of the house. I feel like that's a nice thing to do. I don't know if we did that with the other kids and now I feel really bad. So if I could just get you to come upstairs, my little love, and we'll get you to go ahead and search for a job. Y'all, it's literally what she wanted to do anyway. That's so good. I love her. Yay, congrats, my little darling. Oh, sweetie, I'm not going to enroll you in university. I am going to move you out of our house though. It is scary how much she looks like her mom minus 
the lack of uh, purple hair. But like, look at the purple eyes. She's so cute. Alrighty, here we go. Let's just go ahead and kick you out. Uh, yes, in DD. I mean, ugh, the picture's not going to load. I don't know why my thumbnails are not loading, but yeah, that's fine. She probably won't get placed with her siblings, but I can always just like move the Sims around the world myself later anyway. Is that correct? We only moved one Sim out, right? Yeah, I don't know why. It just looks a little bit funny over here, but that's okay. I think it's fine. It has just come to my attention that we don't even have any toddlers or babies in the house anymore. Like we're actually done getting pregnant and having to take care of toddlers. I could totally get rid of all of this stuff, but I think maybe we'll just pass it down to the next heir because it's kind of handy dandy to have it all there. Hey, didn't I ask you to actually repair that last night? What are you doing with your life, my dude? Also, you've... Oh, wow! You don't have any work on Fridays anymore. That's so cool. Level 9. We need to get you up to level 10 for sure. Oh, wait, maybe once you've edited... I mean, sorry, wow. Once you've repaired that computer, we'll have you go to the school and do some lectures just to get that up into the little happy face of approval situation if I can find the school because I'm just constantly losing it. There it is. Sweet. So wait, no, that's the city hall. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's go and give a lecture. You can't teach a logic class until 10 and oh, same with that. Oh, okay. Wait, do we have opportunities? Oh, wow. I totally did not even realize. All right. Let's not worry about that. After well, at 10 a.m. Actually, we'll actually blah, 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 blah. We shall go and have Cortez take care of those. Wish for fortune. I mean, you know what? We may as well do that. If that's what she wants, then I guess that's what we'll do. All right, 10 a.m. is among us. Let's actually get rid of that. We'll have you teleport down here so it's a bit faster. Oh, wait. Okay, sweet. The option actually came up right there. Perfect. In your pajamas. You're kidding me. You are actually joking. <laughs> All right, so that's done and we got some money for that and increased career performance, fantastic. Oh, and he still wants to uh, master the charisma skill, which we definitely will work on as well. And Hope is off to work now. So hopefully we can get this one sorted for her today. I mean, we're all the way at the bottom. So, I mean, if we can get all the way to the top, in one shift that would be great but it is highly doubtful oh my god that little girl that was at the winter festival is coming home with lincoln wait a minute what was i literally saying oh my god and then lana riley is coming home with luke okay my mind is actually blown this is so good although lincoln is actually uh, dropping off some permission slips before he comes home. But still, that is so good. I can't wait. Uh, yeah, no, don't come home. Drop off the permission slips and then teleport home. Oh, that's so good. That means we can actually become really good friends with this little girl. Where is she in our panel here? Maybe Lincoln will just have to be our heir after all. Oh, we've actually got his lectures thing all the way up to the top now. So we can probably have him stop doing that now and then come home after the one that he has just started. Look at this pile of children that's coming back into the house right now. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Where is that little girl? I've already forgotten her name. Somebody's phone's ringing. Answer it. Geneva. Where is she? Geneva, where are you? Oh, she's not here for some reason. Well, let's just invite her over then. Hey, Geneva, you know how you said you were going to come to my house after school, but then I decided to do something else instead? Well, yeah, could you like still come over, please? Oh, the other girl came over, though. Maybe you can come out here and meet her as well. Lana Riley. Although, who did she come home with again? Was it Luke? I don't remember. Maybe it was Luke. Let's just actually... Wait, Luke, where are you? Why are you not home, my little love? Oh, look, there's Geneva. Okay, never mind. Come back, Lincoln. Lincoln, come outside and say hello to your friend. Let's just go and have a little chat with her and get to know her. Uh, she's like a bra because apparently that actually really helps to get friendships up in this particular game. Hi, Geneva. My name's Lincoln. I might be the perfect heir to take over for the next generation of this challenge so i'm just wondering if you want to be like you know maybe my lifelong girlfriend and we can have babies together when we're young adults you know 
just just maybe maybe just maybe lincoln and geneva just autonomously started playing tag that's actually so cute holy shit she actually managed to get a promotion are you actually kidding that's like insanely good i'm so proud of you hope what the heck oh my god if I wasn't paying attention, I would have completely missed that. But Cortez just got to level 10 of his charisma skill. That's so good. What on earth? Okay, you can stop doing that now. <laughs> wow, that's so good. Good job, buddy. And now you can go to bed at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning. How many is this now? Three in the one episode? I... Mm -hmm. Goose frappa. Hope's off to work again. And I'm wondering if we can actually get her yet another promotion in just one shift. She finishes at 8.30 at night, so I'll make sure I keep an eye on the time. Holy cow, you know, I think she might actually be able to get another promotion. She's got about half an hour left of work, and we've also gotten this opportunity to either eat alone or eat with others at the Flying V's coffee house. So maybe actually when she finishes work, we'll do that. I just need to find that place. It used to be like sort of around the corner from where we lived with one of our previous generations. Yeah, right here. So wait, what is this? I don't know why that looks like there's only lights there, but that's very interesting. Yeah, we'll have her go ahead and work there. Not work there, sorry, eat there. And then, oh, she didn't quite get a promotion. That's okay. And then after that, we can have her teleport back on home. Heather, what the hell? All right, guys, so I know that this is kind of abrupt, but if I play any longer, then it's actually going to be the L quadruplets' birthday again, and they're going to age up into teenagers, and I just think that that's going to make the episode a little bit too long, and I'm feeling really, really just, like, worn out, tired. I really need to go to bed right now, so I am going to take this as an opportunity to go ahead and end the episode off just here. Everyone's just kind of settling down. It's Sunday night. Everyone's got school in the morning, and it's going to be a real fun time in the next episode and speaking of which if you're looking forward to that and you haven't already subscribed to my channel I hope that you will consider doing so as well as clicking the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video and of course you guys if you enjoyed today's video in particular and you would like to show myself and or the channel some support you can do so by either clicking on the like button and or by letting me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very, very much for watching today. And as always, you guys, until next time, bye-bye.